Hello, welcome to our unit on polar coordinates. Today, uh, we're going to learn a whole new way to think about graphing, and it's using a system called polar coordinates. Now, uh, polar coordinates can produce some pretty crazy graphs like you see on this page, and we'll learn more about them as the chapter moves on. First off, uh, we have to know the difference between rectangular coordinates and polar coordinates. Rectangular coordinates use horizontal and vertical distances to, um, from the origin. So for rectangular coordinates, if I have the point 3, 4, that means that I move to the right 3 and up 4. And that's where my point is, 3, 4. Now in polar coordinates, we use distances and directions to identify a point. So what we do is uh, we actually just have start off with this right hand side and if I have three say 30 degrees what that means is I go three units out at 30 degrees so 30 degrees is probably up here and so we have these circles which have a radius of one None of my circles of course look terrible but if three at 30 degrees, we go to the third ring, and that's this point where we go three out at 30 degrees up. Now our fixed point zero is called a pole. That's uh, when we start at the center and go to the right, that's called a pole. The ray starting at uh, point O, this ray, is called the polar axis. Now point P is assigned to polar coordinates. We say it's R dash theta, where R is the distance from O to P, and theta is the degree measure. Or it could be, we could do it in radians also. So if I said um, 445 degrees, that means we go four circles out. And maybe I'll use a nice circle. This might make it look better. There's one two, three, four. So we go out f four in the direction of 45 degrees. So if this is 90, 45 is right in the middle. So this point right here would, would be the point four, 45 degrees. So here it says plot the point for 30 degrees. So I can take, to be a little bit more precise, I can take my uh, protractor, 30 degrees of up here. Now I'll have to go out four units. So I'll just draw my concentric circles, make sure that the unit is about the same. And now four is in this direction. So that point right there is 430. Now it says plot the point that's 4, 390. So 4, 390, I'd go at 4, I'd go around 360 and add 30 to it. So we could also name this point 4, 390. Any angle that's coterminal with this will also be equivalent. So if I wanted to plot, plot the point that's negative 430, we still have the same going up 4. I think that first one was too big. There. So we go up four at 30 degrees, but now instead of going out this direction, we're going to cut back this direction. So we go one, two, three, four. So we're going, instead of out at 30 degrees, we're going on the opposite side. So we call that negative four, 30 degrees over here. So now take a second, pause the video, and see if you guys can plot these three points on the graph. All right, hopefully you're through this. And it's going to be 150, which is this one. And we're going to go out three, so it's one, two, three. That's the point, which is point A. Point B is 270 down here. Now it's going to be negative four. So instead of going this direction four, we're going to go up four. One, two, three, four. And that's going to be our point B. 
our point C is 2 at negative 135. Negative 135 would be going this direction, and we go 1, 2, so that would be point C. Now here, it, here are some in radians. Take a second and pause the video and see if you can graph these in radians. All right, hopefully you're done. Pi over 4, this is going to be pi over 2 if this is pi. And now pi over 4 is going to cut that in half. So now we're going to cut up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to be point D. 7 6, um, that would be over here. And now we're going to go negative 3, so that actually cuts up 1, 2, 3. That's going to be my point E. And F is 7 in the direction of pi. There's pi, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's going to be my point F. Now, polar versus rectangular. Now, if I have a polar point of, say, let's say, 3, 30 degrees, if I want to find my x distance and my y distance to convert back into regular coordinates, we know my hypotenuse is 3, and that's 30 degrees. So my x distance, I could just say, is the cosine of 30 is equal to x over 3. Or that would be 3 cosine of 30 equals x. And if I want to find my y, I'd say the sine of 30 is y over 3. Or 3 sine of 30 is equal to y. Now, we could find those values. Um, so 3 cosine of 30 is 2.598, and our 3 sine of 30 is 1.5. So our coordinate here in rectangular coordinates would be 2.598 comma 1.5. Now, we could see that um, if we wanted to generalize this, we can take the radius times the cosine of our angle, and that would be the x value, and the radius times the sine of the, that angle, and that would give us our y value. If you wanted to remember these formulas, um, you could find the x value and the y value pretty quickly each time. All right, so now let's convert these polars into rectangulars. Take a second, pause the video, and see if you guys can do these on your own first. All right. Now, if um, we want to use our quick formula, we could say 3 times the cosine of 60 would give us our x value, and 3 times the sine of 60 would give us our y value. So 3 cosine 60 and 3 sine 60. This would be just the opposite of the one I just made up, 1.5 and 2.598. So we can just 1.5, 2.598. This next one, um, now this is in radians. Now, it might help if I do negative 3 fourths, it would be down here, if that hypotenuse is 1. Now, um, using our... our uh, special right triangles, we should know that this is root 2 over 2 to the left, root 2 over 2 down, because this is a 45, 45, 90. So this would actually be negative root 2 over 2, negative root 2 over 2. And this last one, 5 pi over 2, that's going up here, because this is pi over 2, going up 5, so that point is just 0, 5. Now, find the polar coordinates for each of these points, and then find the rectangular coordinates for each of these points. So take a second, pause the video, and see if you can do this on your own. All right. Now, for A, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And if this is pi, this is 3 pi over 2, that's right in the middle. So that's going to be 5 pi over 4. For b, 
It's going up one, two, three, four. And um, this is two past there. And so, um, so that would be at 120 degrees or two pi over three. C is uh, at three pi over two, and it's out one, two, three, four, five. So five, three pi over two. And D is one, two, three, four at 11 pi over six. Now, if we want to convert each of these into uh, to rectangular coordinates, this is five pi over four. We're going out nine. So since this is 45, 45, 90, I just have to divide by root two. So nine over root two. Uh, to the left, nine over root two down. So that would be negative nine over root two, and then negative nine over root two. Now we can convert this to nine root two over two, or uh, 4.5 root two, both, all of that would be acceptable. For B, uh, we're, this is gonna be four, so, in a 30, 60, 90, I'd go to the left two and up to root three. So I'd go to the left two and up to root three. For C, it's just zero, negative five. And this last one, if this distance is four, that's two down and two root three to the right. So two root three and two down. So these are the polars and these are rectangular. Now converting from rectangular to polar, now if I have the point two, negative two, I go to the right two, down two, that's a 45, 45, 90, so this is gonna be two root two as a hypotenuse. So once we have the hypotenuse, now we have to figure out what the, where this angle is. And you could, if you want to do it in degrees, you could say negative 45. If you want to do it in, um, and, or you could also say 315, or you could say 7 pi over 4 if you were doing it in radians. 0, 4, we go 4 to the left. So that's at pi, and it is 4 out from the center. So 4 pi would be this in polar coordinates. Now, if I have three, four, this one I go three to the right, four up. Now, my hypotenuse is easy because hopefully everybody knows the three, four, five triangle. Now, to find this angle here, if I did it in radians, I would have to have my calculator in radian mode, and I'd have to take the inverse tangent of four over three. And that would give us 0.927. Or if we did it in degree mode, it would be uh, 53.1, just depending on what the question is asking for. Now our last one, negative one root three, that means I go one to the left, root three up. So now my hypotenuse is two, and this is gonna be at 120 degrees, or two pi over three. All right, hopefully that makes sense to you and uh, you're ready to do some homework.